Math is super fun. Slope is rise over run. I be chilling in the sun. Hey, Math 3 students, I want to thank veterans because this week is coming up is Veterans Day. For those who have served in the military, thank you for their courage, dedication, and hard work. Thanks to the military families for their support, resilience, and sacrifice. This is the grid view to navigate all your slides, and it's time for our world famous. It's time for game plans. That's right, Mr. Frank. It is week number 14, November 8th to very short week, November 10th, 2021. We're in module one, quadratic functions, and this week we got the qua 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 quadratic formula and the discriminant. Stud students will be able to use the quadratic formula and discriminant to solve quadratic equations and determine the number of real roots on their lessons. Let's go to some room 902 news. Remember, you cadence, you get and turn in your work. It is the unofficial grade. You do not send stuff through email. Repeat, do not send stuff through email. I know you panic and you don't know how to do it. Uh, take some time. I know it's a learning curve. We have help. But do not send your work through email. Aries is the official way to get your grade. If you want to know how you're doing, and go to Aries. Remember, just because you turn in late work doesn't mean I grade it. You need to go through late work. You actually click on this. Inside tells you about late work. There's a video explaining how, and then there's two options. You can do the late work reflection, or you can do the commercial. Thrively is going to be due at the end of November. So as of November 8th, you have 22 more days. Be careful, because this is going to sneak up on you also in Khan Academy because there's Thanksgiving break you have two days um, coming up this week um, and you know you don't get the whole month of December so you kind of want to get ahead and just get it finished so you can click on here in blue for your Thrively deadlines and your Khan Academy deadlines remember you're looking for learning minutes click on progress and then uh, change it to a custom uh, time change remember your attendance is 10% of your grade if you ever miss a class, complete an absent assignment. Super easy, helps me understand that you know what's going on. And if you need help, sign up for an office hour. And if you're considering your career, make sure you pick something that makes dollars and cents. We're still working towards these bonuses. And I updated this now, we have completed 63 of the 85 days in first semester, 74% is done, guys. Three-fourths of the first semester is done. We still have about 25% left. We're here on November 8th. Remember, uh, Veterans Day, no school, and then also it should be purple. It's a non-student day. See, these are days not to sleep in, not to have uh, too much fun, but maybe to catch up on work, right? Look at Aries and, like, actually do stuff. We have one more week till Thanksgiving. You have Thanksgiving off, and then you have three really quick weeks, one, two, three, um, before the end of the semester. For the school year, we've completed 63, 63 of 179 days, so we're 35% done, which means we have about 64.8% left. All right, dun, 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 dun. I got progress reports due this Friday. So if you want anything to count, turn it in on Wednesday. Turn in anything you want to count for the quarter grade on Wednesday. Guys, this is your last kind of like notification because in five weeks later when I have to turn in week grades for first semester, that is a permanent grade. Permanent grade. You don't want to go towards academic intervention. Not fun. Talked about our essential question. We're going to be using the quadratic formula and discriminant. Basically, to help us predict, does it cross the x-axis? Does a parabola cross the x-axis? Monday, I got class with period AE learning or online learning. And Tuesday, I'll see my um, period 2A CBA integrated math 3 students. And I'm releasing for Monday um, 1.60. 161, 162, 163, 164, and 165. Remember, you need to uh, make a copy of this Google document. And all the colors, either here 
or on the Google document or my YouTube channel show you the videos for each of these. Remember I'm breaking it up and so I'm making one long video. It's just for each of these sections. Okay, Wednesday, um, you're turning in 14.4, assignment 14.4, packet 14.4, which I'll show you guys on the next slide, or on two more slides. And then we're going to take a quiz on Wednesday. The quiz is only on 1.1 to 1.5. Let me say that again. The quiz you're taking on Wednesday is only from 1.1 to 1.5, which means it was the work from last week. So if you're ahead, you're probably working on 1.6. If you're behind, I would probably get your other packet done. Remember I told you Thursday and Friday you don't have school. I just want to peek ahead to what it looks like next week before Thanksgiving break. You'll do 1.7. You'll have a work day. Remember, I give you a week to do the quiz. This quiz is closing. And then we'll have 1.8 to finish off uh, before Thanksgiving. Let's look at what assignments are due. Everything, uh, red light, yellow light, green light, everything in red is considered late. You can still turn it in. Um, you just need to click on late work, submit it in there. Things I have not graded but has passed the due deadline is the take home reflection. Here in this green right here, this is the one that's due this Wednesday. Okay, remember you're only being tested on from up to 1.1 to 1.5. Let's say you have not turned in things through eCadence before and you need some help. Well, right here, I have three help buttons. One, two, and three. And then uh, when I release the quiz, uh, you can go to this line. I need to update some directions. It'll say quiz number four. You basically just go to your Edge Elastic and save your piece of paper with your work on it. And I think that's all I have for you guys. Just like these vet veterans who have made sacrifices and dedication, you need to do the same with your schoolwork. We'll see you guys later. Bye. It started out with graphene and then it went to functions. I'm doing FOIL to solve x. x is the expressions. Now I have to see. See if x is equal to or greater than, than 3. Now you make that point. Point on the x-axis. Wait, was it a positive 3 or a negative 3?